Okay, part two then says, hence find the integral of x tan squared x. So why why is it saying to do that? How How is that a hence question? They're, they're two different questions. Well, they are two different questions, yes, but there's a, a, a link between um, a tan squared x and a sec squared x. And that comes from... Um, well, it comes from using the identity sine squared x plus cos squared x equals zero. Because if you divide all that by cos squared x, we get tan squared x plus cos squared x over cos squared x, which is one, equals one over cos squared x, which is sec squared x. So tan squared x plus one equals sec squared x, or tan squared x equals sec squared x take away 1. So that's what we can do up here. We can, if, if this is what we want to integrate, rather than integrating what they've given us, let's box this off. Um, we can integrate instead x times by sec squared x take 1. And if we expand those brackets, that's x sec squared x, take away x. Now we've just found the integral of this, this expression here, x sec squared x. We've got that answer from part 1. So all we have to now do is integrate x, which is dead easy. So we are going to get x tan x minus ln uh, yeah, ln sec x, or you might have here plus ln cos x. Um, so that's this part integrated, minus x squared over 2.